Hi dears, this is Raji. In this video, we are going to learn a super easy trick to memorize the seven crystal system and their cell parameters also. Watch the video fully. After that, you don't have to buy heart it at all and it will be there in your memory forever. So let's see how to do that. Yeah, before going to the trick, yeah, you should have a clear idea about what is a crystal lattice and a unit cell. So what is a crystal lattice? If the solid is crystalline in nature, it will be having a regular arrangement of atoms, molecules or ions in a three dimensional space. That is known as a crystal lattice. And the smallest repeating unit of a crystal lattice is called unit cell. Okay. Yeah. Remember, unit cell will not be same in all the crystalline solids. It will be different. So, why these unit cells are different? It depends upon certain cell parameters. Now, what are the cell parameters? We will see that. Cell parameters include yeah, three edges. See, suppose this is the edge length A and this is the edge length B and this is C. Okay, so the type of a unit cell depends upon yeah, these three edges and also the angle between them. See, which is that angle? The angle between A and C. Yeah, see, A and C. B is missing. So, we will say that this is beta. Okay, angle between B and C. See, A is missing. So, this is alpha. Okay, you should remember like that. An angle between A and B. This will be gamma. Easy to remember. Okay. So, depending upon this six cell parameters, three edges and the three angle between them, you can have seven crystal systems. And our challenge is that yeah, you will have to identify the crystal systems, the edge length also and the angle between them also. We are going to learn that. Okay. Yes. Now, see this one. This is our trick. Cute ortho Dr. Monica tried honey rescula. You can retain this sentence in your memory. So, this sentence will help you to retain the seven crystal systems in the order. Cute. So, this will be cubic and tetragonal. Ortho. Ortho. Rhombic. Monica. Monoclinic. Tried. Triclinic. Honey. Then hexagonal. Rescula. That is rhombohedral. Rhombohedral is also known as trigonal. You will have to retain the seven crystal systems in the same order only. Then only our trick will work. Now, there is an easy method to predict the edge length also and the angle between them also for all the seven crystal system. Write along with me. Our first system is ready. That is cubic system. Yeah, We know that in a cubic system, all the edge length will be equal. So, write it A equal to B equal to C. And what about the angle between them? All are 90 degree only. We know that. So, alpha equal to beta equal to gamma. That will be equal to 90 degree. Got it? Now, yeah, how to write tetragonal system? Yeah, you are going to pull this cubic system from top. Right? Yeah. How does it look like now? See, it will look like this. Okay, this is tetragonal system. What did you do? You were pulling this cubic system only from the top. So, what happened? A will remain the same. B will remain the same. So, only its height is changing. Correct? Yeah, C will be different. Agreed? So, how to write the edge length now? A is equal to B only. But it is not equal to C. But any angle is changing? No. So, alpha equal to beta equal to gamma will be equal to 90 degree. This is tetragonal system. Okay. So, after pulling the cubic system from the top, you got tetragonal system. Okay. Its height has changed now. Now, what you are going to do? You are pulling this uh, tetragonal system from the sides also. Then, what will happen? A also is going to change. Then, how does it look like? See, it will look like this. Okay, in this case, A will be different, C will be different and B will be different. And this will become orthorhombic system. So, write and see what will happen. A not equal to B not equal to C. All the sides are different. But is there any change in angle? No. Yeah, alpha equal to beta equal to gamma that will be equal to 90 degree. So, this is orthorhombic unit cell. Got it? 
now what you are going to do yeah keeping the bottom portion fixed you are going to push it on one side of this orthorhombic unit cell okay then how does it look like yeah we will draw and see see it will look like this the base will remain the same but the entire system got tilted to one side <laughs> got it yeah see this one while pushing the orthorhombic system to one side is there any change in the edge length no so the edges will be remaining same as orthorhombic system only so write and see a not equal to b not equal to c so we have written it now the question is that what about the angle where was the position of side c initially yeah here it was okay so that time the angle between c and a was 90 degree correct no yeah when it was over here so after pulling the position of c is over here so what about this angle it will be greater than 90 degree okay which is the angle between a and c that will be beta b is missing so that angle is beta so in this case beta will be greater than 90 degree or it is not equal to 90 degree you can write okay whereas the angle between b and c alpha and a and b that is gamma that will be equal to 90 degree only there is no change at all alpha equal to gamma will be equal to 90 degree and in this case beta will be greater than 90 degree or not equal to 90 degree you should write got it so if you are pulling the cubic system from the top you are getting tetragonal system if you are pulling the tetragonal system from the side you are getting orthorhombic system you are pushing this orthorhombic system from one side keeping the base fixed so that time you are getting monoclinic unit cell easy yes and now what you are going to do you are very naughty right yeah you are going to sit on one side of this monoclinic system okay then because of your weight yeah what's going to happen yeah the system will be squeezed how does it look like we will draw and see see it will be looking like this you will be getting triclinic unit cell and this is you you are sitting on this side right yes see while you were sitting on this edge of this monoclinic system is there any change in edge length happening no the edge length will remain same only right yeah only the angle will be changing so write and see so what about the sides of the unit cell a not equal to b not equal to c and what about the angle as you are sitting on top of it see all these angles will be different okay see this is beta and this is alpha and this is gamma all these angles will be different so how to write it alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma which in turn will not be equal to 90 degree also so how to remember a triclinic unit cell try three three sides also three angles also will be different okay you can remember like that so we have learned one more unit cell triclinic system now only two are remaining hexagonal also rhombohedral also we are going to draw that also yeah see this one this is hexagonal unit cell it is entirely different from other unit cell and easy to memorize also this is side a and this is side b a and b will be equal so you write it so in a hexagonal unit cell a equal to b look at c c is lengthy so a and b will not be equal to c so we got the edge length already right now think about the angle between that okay which is the angle that is present between a and c which one is missing a b c b is missing so this angle is beta that will be definitely equal to 90 degree it is clear from the picture and what is the angle between c and b this is alpha right yeah that is also equal to 90 degree so we can write it alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree okay we don't have any doubt in that if so what about the angle between a and b yeah see this angle will be gamma so as it is a hexagon yeah gamma will be equal to 120 degree right now okay yeah so we got that also so this is for hexagonal system okay yes now only one unit cell is remaining that is rhombohedral okay so how to find it out your crooked mind is working out you are going to sit on this side of the cubic unit cell 
okay and you are going to squeeze it right then how does that structure will be looking like we will draw that it will be looking like this okay this will be rhombohedral unit cell what we are doing you are sitting on the cubic unit cell and squeezing it okay yeah so is there any change in edges yeah there is no change at all all are same only a is equal to b that will be equal to c right yeah and what about the angle yeah as we are squeezing it yeah see the angle will not be 90 degree but all the angle will be same right alpha equal to beta equal to gamma but it will not be equal to 90 degree see as all the sides are of equal length if you are squeezing the system also the angle between them also will be equal but it won't be equal to 90 degree right yeah. so this is rhombohedral unit cell finished that's all we learned the seven crystal system also and the unit cell parameters also so the only thing you need to retain in memory is this sentence this will help you to remember the system in the same order the rest of the cell parameters automatically it will be coming to your memory let's try one more time see this one cute orthodoctor monica tried honey rascula using this sentence we have written the seven crystal systems in the order now write the edge length also and the angle between them also cubic unit cell all the sides will be equal a equal to b equal to c what about the angle alpha equal to beta which in turn will be equal to gamma that entire thing will be equal to 90 degree right yeah what about tetragonal how we will be getting that yeah we are pulling that cubic system from top so a will be equal to b but c will be different not equal to c right yeah what about the angle is there any change in angle no okay alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree what about orthorhombic how we will be getting this we are pulling tetragonal system from the sides also as a result a not equal to b not equal to c all the sides will be different and what about the angle is there any change in angle no alpha equal to beta equal to gamma will be equal to 90 degree what about monoclinic system how we will be getting it you will be pushing this orthorhombic system to one side that time yeah the edge length will not be changing but the angle will be changing write it again a not equal to b not equal to c which angle will be changing beta will not be equal to 90 degree whereas alpha and gamma will be equal to 90 degree got it and now how we will be getting triclinic system we will be squeezing the monoclinic system right yeah so the same edge length will be there there is no change in that also so a not equal to b not equal to c but the angle will be changing all the angle will be different alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma which in turn will not be equal to 90 degree how to remember in triclinic system try all the three angles also and the three sides also will be different so that is easy to memorize now hexagonal system yeah in hexagonal system a will be equal to b but c will be lengthy so this is not equal to c right and what about alpha and beta alpha and beta will be equal to 90 degree but the angle between a and b that is gamma will be equal to 120 degree we can visualize it okay easily what about rhombohedral we will be getting that by squeezing the cubic unit cell so what about the sides all the sides will be equal as that in cubic system but the angle will be same only but not equal to 90 degree alpha equal to beta equal to gamma not equal to 90 degree that's it finished now see this question i have taken this question from physical chemistry book by narendra avasti yeah try this questions it will be so easy for you the unit cell with parameters alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree all the angles are same only and that is equal to 90 degree a equal to b not equal to c so which system is that the second one okay our shortcut start with cute right yeah so first one is cubic second one is tetragonal in which yeah we are pulling it from top right so which is answer it is tetragonal that's answer easy 
yeah what about the second one triclinic crystal has the following cell parameters if it is triclinic yeah we were remembering a shortcut tri three three angles also three edge length also will be different right so which will be the option yeah so that will be c now see this question using the same shortcut method you can easily answer these question also okay so try this question by yourself and tell